Hey there guys, it's Tim, and I wanted to bring you another motivational message this week, and I'm talking a little bit about the difference between the pain of struggle and the pain of regret. Now, I've seen this quote a number of different times uh, since I've been on this journey of personal development, which is that the pain of struggle is less painful than the pain of regret. Uh, it's said different ways each time, but that's the gist of it. And uh, I just wanted to expand upon that a little bit today with an analogy for that specific statement. Um, and this relates to your health and fitness. Now, if you've ever done a weight program, uh, say like P90X or Body Beast, or maybe you've just been in the gym for years and you've done some heavy lifting, uh, you know the difference between what it feels like to have a sore muscle from really working it out hard the day before, you've torn some muscle fibers, and so the next day your muscles are really sore, it hurts to touch them, but you know the difference between that and a debilitating injury. You know, when something's wrong with your joint or you can tell that something's torn in a way that is not uh, <laughs> something that's actually rebuilding muscle in a way that's actually injured something. And a lot of times you really can't get into really figuring out the difference between these two until you've been pushing it hard for a little while uh, to where you can tell when something's really off, when it causes you pain to do normal motions pain that shoots into other areas of your body rather than just stays localized in the area that you worked out. And this is what I like to, to bring into the analogy is that the pain of struggle is much like the muscle soreness. Now, it's not necessarily fun to go through. Uh, you know, some people tend to get addicted to it after a while if you're doing a lot of weightlifting and you know that that soreness means you got a good workout the day before, you get kind of proud of that soreness. You're like, yeah, I, I, I hit it hard yesterday. You get disappointed when you don't feel that the next day. You feel like maybe you didn't do enough. Uh, but when you're first starting off, uh, that mental soreness might be a deterrent because you know you felt okay the day before and now you did all this work and now everything in your body is sore and you're just like, why do I put myself through this? But, but believe me, that you get used to and ultimately that's a good thing because that means you're pushing your muscles past their current abilities to where they have to grow back stronger. And this is how you build strength, this is how you build lean muscle, and this is how you get in better shape. Now, the pain of regret is more like the debilitating injury, okay? And I state this in the sense that, you know, like we just said before, uh, a debilitating injury is something where you know you've thrown something completely off. You've got pain shooting into other areas of your body that it shouldn't be, and you've done something to your body that's gonna require some sort of repair is going to require rest and uh, is not the best way forward. Now, I like to make this analogy with health and fitness towards your larger and more overarching goals in your life. You know, there's a lot of things that we come up against in our lives that maybe we're wanting to do, but maybe we're a little scared to do. You know, whether that be going into a new business venture, whether that be, you know, leaving your current job for another one that you're not quite sure how it's going to work out. Uh, getting yourself into a new relationship that, you know, uh, you don't know everything about the person, but you're excited, but there's some fear involved there too. And a lot of times when there's fear involved, we can be tempted to not go down that path because we're worried that it's going to hurt more to go down that path of uncertainty and then get burned at some point down the process. And so we're like, well, I would rather stay here where I'm, I'm somewhat happy and not take the chance then go down there and risk, you know, being burned and being uh, put into a place worse than where I am right now. But this is where I bring back the quote, the pain of struggle is less painful than the pain of regret. So it might be a struggle to go after this thing that you're not sure how it's going to work out. And there might be some times when it hurts, when it gets, when you get a little sore, when you get a little touchy when things don't seem like they're going to be working out. But that pain is much better than the pain of regretting never having gone after it in the first place. You understand? So it's always worth it to go after those things. If you're excited about it, even if there's some fear, that's a good thing. Those two things always go together. <laughs> and we can't we can't achieve anything big in our lives without having that fear incorporated into it, okay? Because going after something big in your life means there's going to be uncertainty. There's going to be things that you don't know. 
And because of these things, there's going to be some fear and there's going to be some, you know, I'm not sure if I should do this feeling. But that's a good thing. That means that you are pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone. You're pushing yourself beyond your boundaries, much like the muscle soreness. You're pushing your muscles when you work out like that. You're pushing them past their current boundaries, and so you get sore in the process. But that is just a good sign that you're growing and that you're taking a step in the right direction. So start to look at your fears as that same stage, and just like that muscle soreness, that it's a step in the right direction. The fact that that fear is there is a good sign. Rather than that you shouldn't have the fear at all, that fear should be there to help give you the energy to push you forward in your journey. If we think too much about the fear and we think about just maintaining our comfort level, then later on down the line, we're going to think about that thing that excited us at one time that we didn't go after because we were afraid of how it might not work out, and we're going to have that regret. And that regret stays with us for a long, long time. You can't kill regret. You can only stuff it down, but it keeps coming back up on you. So go after that thing today. Risk the muscle soreness. The muscle soreness will help you grow. The fear will help you grow. It will get you to the next stage of your journey, and it will get you a lot further than trying to stay in your comfort zone, trying to avoid fear, and then, of course, risking the pain of regret down the line. So I hope that analogy all came together uh, in the way that I intended it. If uh, anything didn't make sense or if it resonated with you and you have comments, put them in the comment section below. Now, being that I am a health and fitness oriented channel here, uh, I am a Beachbody coach and I work with a lot of people on their health and fitness journeys in particular. I try to motivate for all areas of life, but if you yourself are looking for some help with your health and fitness journey, if you're looking for some accountability, if you're wanting to get started on this path, you're excited about going on this path, but you're not quite sure how to do it and you need a little bit of guidance, I coach people for free on all Beachbody workout programs. If you've ever done P90X or Insanity or heard about them, 21 Day Fix, pretty much anything you've seen an infomercial on, they're out there. I coach on these for free. I have a free accountability group on Facebook. It's called Beachbody Warriors. You can look it up there. I will also post a link to it in the description box below. But you can request access to this group. We accept everybody in as long as you're following a Beachbody program or at least looking into a Beachbody program. I can help you get started with one. And shoot me a request on there. Now, just a couple of things. We don't accept everybody into the group. You do have to be following along a Beachbody program or in that direction of. You also have to be willing to be an active member in the group. That means not only posting about your own journey, and that's not just when you do something well or that you finished a workout that day, that's also when you're struggling with stuff. You know, if you had a day where you just didn't do very well nutritionally, you ate a burger and you feel bad about it, putting that out there to the group, just having that sounding board is going to be one of the key parts of your journey for one. And two, it allows the other group members to see that hey, not everybody's perfect, and I don't have to be perfect either, and I can support this person on my journey on a, and on their journey because I understand what it's like to feel like you've fallen off the wagon. So it's sharing all aspects of the journey. That's a very important piece of this group. So if all of that sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of and that you feel you can commit to, send me that request and send me a little message too. You know, that'll go a long ways too to show me that you're serious about being an active member of this group. I reach out to everybody who sends a request anyway because I need to get a little bit more of a feel for your goals before we add you in there. But that being said, if you reach out to me first, uh, that goes a long way into getting you accepted into the group. Okay, so just wanted to put that out to you guys. Again, if you have questions or comments, please post them in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching today and we'll talk to you next time.